Every once in a while, we all get that one client whose nightmares we cannot forget. So what better day to share those nightmares than on Halloween? Yo guys, welcome to RenderM, my name is Vieko and today I'm sharing my personal client horror stories. Our first horror story starts on Christmas Eve. So we were absolutely hammered by the changes of this project. It was a telecommunication operator and it was a cell phone commercial. So the client was just continuously adding stuff, removing stuff, adding stuff, removing stuff. It was just endless changes. You know, you know, one of those projects that you think that doesn't have an end. One of those projects that just feels like an endless pit. And it was 7 p.m. Christmas Eve. And the guy sent us an email saying, Hi guys, here is a list of all the changes that you need to do. I need to go home and be with my family because it's Christmas Eve. I hope you do all those changes today. See you tomorrow morning on Christmas. We were so damn pissed off because this whole thing lasted for a freaking week that my boss said, okay, stop like nobody nobody's doing anything anymore Th that's it let's all go home and we were like well what about tomorrow i mean and he's like no tomorrow is christmas we're all home etc so the next morning or on christmas morning my boss called him up because the guy already started sending emails like where are the updates etc so my boss called him up and he said look we are not working on christmas the guy was so pissed off that he literally just hung up the phone and he didn't call back ever again. And, you know, it's it, it's it's kind of a, a win scenario at the end, you know, but, but living through it was a freaking nightmare. Now, the next story that I'm about to share happened with a beer company. So I was doing this large print for this new beer that's about to come out. And I got the label that I need to stick over the beer. I got it in Illustrator file. So it had some gray areas, actually a lot of gray areas. And uh, usually those gray areas means that the surface is chrome. So I called up the client saying, hi, can you just clarify, are those gray areas, is that chrome or is that a gray design? And he was like, oh, no, 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 that's a gray design. Just render it like that. And I was like, okay, cool. So I rendered the whole image. I sent it over to the client and he came back with, with one comment. He said, hi, can you... Can you just add a white stripe, like a white blurry stripe on the right side of the bottle over those gray areas? And I'm like, okay, you mean like a highlight? And he was like, yeah, like a highlight. So I added a highlight, fine. Then the next email came. Oh, this looks excellent. Can you now add like a darker stripe left of, the, left of that highlight? I'm like, okay, but it can be a little bit wider. I was like, okay, cool. So I, I added it, you know, and sent it over. He came back saying, hi, can you add another stripe? Also white, but a little bit less white than the first one. And just add it next to the black one. I'm looking at the image. Like, it feels like the guy is designing Chrome. So I, I called him up again and I said, hi, are you sure that, that, that this is not Chrome, that this is just gray surface? He's like, 100%, it's just gray. Just follow me on this. I know it, it seems a little bit confusing, but everything is going to be revealed at the end. So I was like, okay. Four or five amends later, we got to like the half of the bottle design with like add this stripe, add that stripe, add this stripe, add that stripe. And I looked at that and I was like, that's that's a bad chrome. So I called him up again and I asked, sorry, can you can you just photograph what you're trying to achieve and let me just see it? He's like, yeah, sure. So he sent a photograph of the bottle and yep, it was all chrome. So I called him up and I said, well, it's not gray, it's chrome. And he was like, what is chrome? T the texture in the photo, it's chrome. And he's like, oh, so that's how you call that effect. And I'm like, are you, are you serious? So yeah, the client didn't know what chrome means. So he decided to generally guide us by painting, you know, just stripes and moving them left and right, etc, etc. The problem is that whole project had five bottles and what he proposed was that if we can continue doing it like that, you know, stripe down, stripe up, 
for the whole five bottles and of course my boss stepped in and he said no we're not doing that we're either rendering chrome or we, or we're not doing this madness before we jump into our next horror story i just want to switch to a good side and by good side i mean ever motion everything you see behind me so all those shelves books candles you name it all done with Evermotion props. So they have this fantastic fantasy collection. It's filled with like horror-like fantasy props and they can all be used in Halloween purposes. It's awesome. So thank you Evermotion for that, for sponsoring this video. Also, now let's continue the nightmares. So I'm gonna talk now the next story that happened and this one was, was just phenomenal. So I was working on this dairy, dairy bottle. It was also a print. Funny how all those, like most of my horror stories are print related. So it was it was a print of this little, like a cup. Let's call it a cup. So that cup had some texture on it. It was it was just a label, you know. So I did the whole render. I tweaked it up and it was looking really nice. And I sent it over and the client, she, she wrote back that the render just looks bad and incorrect. And I was like, why? So she marked what is wrong. She was like, logo is distorted. Uh, the, the the text is, is like bent. Uh, this is curved for some reason. Um, the, these letters are, are shrinking. You know, just all these ridiculous comments. And, and what I tried to understand, like, what, what was going on, you know, at that point she said, can, can you just straighten that all up? Why does it have to be so curvy? So I understood what's happened. So she had a problem that the perspective and the curviness of the bottle did its magic. So I explained that to her. I'm like, okay, but if I'm gonna straighten that all up, the whole logic of perspective is gonna completely lose logic because you're gonna have elements that are in perspective, some that are not, it's just gonna look weird. And she's like, no, but it, it has to be straight. You cannot have all these things bent. I'm like, I'm like, sorry, but you have a bendy product, but okay. And I did all those changes, so I strength, uh, straightened everything up, and it was looking terrible, of course. Uh, I sent it over, and she, was, she she just said, no, that's still horrible, it just, now, now it even looks worse. You know what, she said. She said, I'm gonna ask my designer, and he's gonna show you how it needs to look like. So he's gonna draw something, and you just need to repeat what he did. Two days have passed. After the two days, the designer came back and what the designer do? So she said, just do what he did. He did it perfectly. And I was like, okay. So when I opened designer's image, he took my render, my first completely incorrect, distorted, etc., original render. He stretched it by 10% and she said, that's perfect. You understand the madness that I'm talking about? You know, like, she pointed on all these 15 different elements, you know, like, forcing me to to deviate stuff where, well, obviously, just a tiny stretch was enough. So, yeah. Uh, this whole thing lasted for, like, four days. It was it was horrible. Now, now the last nightmare that I'm going to talk about uh, also happened with, uh, with the dairy company where I produced a render, it was a super sexy, like, studio setup of this, like, yogurt bottle, and I sent it over for approval, and then I got a comment. And a comment said, the whole bottle is in the shadow, can you remove the shadow? I was like, okay, I mean, me, I did it a little bit contrasty, but, it, you know, it's cool for the depth for everything, so I kind of, you know, removed the portion of, of, of the darkness and the shadowy parts, sent it over. She said, no, it's still in the shadow. Can you remove the shadow? And I was like, okay, a little bit extreme, but okay. So I, you know, toned down the shadows even more. Now the whole bottle actually started to look like very pale. The bottle was uh, in the design. It was mostly white. So, you know, the whole thing started to be like very, very, very bright. Uh, so I sent it over and she said, I don't understand. How can you not listen to what I'm saying? Can you please remove the shadows? Why is that so hard to understand? At that point, you know, we kind of felt offended. And then my producer called her up and he, he asked her, Sorry, can you, can you please point where is that shadow that's bugging you? 
and she said, I'm constantly co comparing your render to an Illustrator file of that label. In the Illustrator, you have all the full colors. When you In Illustrator, when you look at the white color of something, it's probably 255, 255, 255 RGB white. And she was comparing that to my render, and she was confused why my render doesn't have the 255 white value. It was always lower, so she figured out that my whole render is in shadow. So how did that end? My producer told her, look, if we, go, if we are going to make it the way you want it, you will not feel the 3D because you will completely kick out all the depths, all the shadowy parts, all, all, all the highlights, all the specularities, everything. You're just going to kick everything out and you're just going to have the raw texture. And she's like, fine, I want that. So... Instead of doing a sexy render, in the end, I literally rendered out an albedo map of that bottle. Sent it over and she said, perfect, that's it. Interesting, I never saw that print anywhere. That's weird. Anyhow, to end up the whole story, here's a... Well, well this is not a nightmare, but it's, it's just a mini funny story. I actually once got a comment from a client saying, Can you reduce the red color by one pixel? Now let that sink in. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please, if you have any nightmares you want to share in comments, trust me, the comment is a graveyard. Just plant your demons into the comment section. I would love to read those. Thank you, Evermotion, for sponsoring this video. These models are awesome. Please check the link in the description. See you in the next one. Bye.